Mm-mm-mm. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. I can't. Okay. Excuse me if I look tired, guys. I have not slept in how many days? But you know what? The show must go on. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well and eating good because you know that's how we do. Um, I'm really excited today because I'm going to be adding another video to my Cheap 20 series. Now, if you're new to my channel, Cheap 20 is where I create a dish in under 20 minutes using cheap and easily accessible ingredients, and that will fill you, taste delicious, takes no time at all, under 20 minutes, and that I think you will benefit from. Okay, so if you do look through my videos, if you're new here, first of all, subscribe. But if you are new here, just go through my videos. If you see a video with the hashtag Cheap 20, it's gonna be a cheap, meal that you can do in under 20 minutes. In my previous video, um, if you've watched it, I did uh, unbox some items from my new partner, Prozies, okay? I'll have Prozies contact, their uh, website, everything in the description box. They're a health and fitness website. They sell amazing um, products from ingredients, food, to protein shakes, to fitness wear, all types of things. And what I'm involved with them is with their food range section. Okay, so for this section, I unboxed a whole lot of items. So I, you can check my previous video, but the item on which I'm gonna, that's gonna star in this video today is the 42% protein black bean spaghetti. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Um, so this is gonna be a first for both of us, but I'm really excited to see what I can do with this. Now, when I thought of this spaghetti, I did do some research and I saw that a lot of recipes were using kind of Italian uh, based sauces or tomato based dishes, which makes sense because it does say spaghetti. However, I feel like there are no rules to cooking and ignore the names or rules. It's all about the flavor, okay? So if something works for you in flavor, then use it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I've decided that since I had black bean, I was thinking, you know, like black bean noodles, you know, Korean, Chinese flavors. And then I thought, maybe we can make this into a noodle salad. Now, this is something you can enjoy hot or cold. It's a super quick recipe. I feel like it will work, and usually when I feel like things work, they work. Cook this in boiling water for seven to eight minutes, and then mix with your favorite sauce. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you guys how I make this super quick marinade or dressing for these noodles, and you can just use, mix it together and add it. You can buy these um, spaghetti, these spaghetti, this spaghetti from Prozzi's website. I will have the description and all the links, everything. I'll put the price up here as well too. I'm pairing it, I'm pairing the spaghetti with edamame and prawns um, because that's what I have at home. I had some prawns in the freezer. So if you want to make this vegan, you know what to do. You, do, you can easily just take out the prawns. I also have some baby corn that I'm going to add. Um, I just did a bit of a little shopping and just try to feel for things that I would like as taste and that's something I really want you guys to take away from when you come to my channel when you come to me as a cook that although I do give you these recipes and I do give you flavors I want you to adjust your taste and try to feel what would work for you but most of all I want you to guys to get this product because it looks really amazing it's high in protein I'm trying to lose them pounds girl or guy then here we are so let's go see this let's go try it out and see what we do be right back Okay guys, so you'll need some chilies, garlic, ginger, some corn, some spring onions finely sliced, the protein pasta of course, you can get this from the Prozies website directly, I'll have the link below, and it's made from black beans, so it's black bean spaghetti, okay? And then you'll also need some edamame, some sunflower oil, soy sauce, chili flakes and black pepper, some salt and sugar, okay, prawns, sesame oil and fish sauce which i forgot to show you and you do want to salt the water generously as you would with uh pasta water of course now in a food processor you do not have to do this you could just chop it up i was being a bit lazy and i did like the texture this gives so i just have the ginger in there the chilies garlic um and the spring onions the white part of the spring onions i'm going to add in the sesame oil as well 
and then i'm also going to add in some fish sauce now if you're making this vegan you can skip this out however i do recommend it because it really does add a good flavor fish sauce is smelly but the flavor it gives is really really up there okay so just pulse blend that um up until it's like a nice paste or whatever consistency you prefer remember you can chop this as well okay so it just looks like that um i added sweet peppers to mine to balance out the spice so then i just add some oil um, i'm mixing sesame with vegetable oil and then i add in the pepper mixture now you just want to stir fry this on high heat until it dries up a bit um this is to take off the raw uh, flavor it really shouldn't take any time at all while it's frying you can have the spaghetti on at the back as i'm doing so next you want to season um lightly with salt and a pinch of sugar just to balance out some of the flavors um you know we have fish sauce in there you know that's a bit harsh so just for some balance okay and make sure it's to your taste of course but i will have all the measurements in my blog post please check that out give that a stir okay and then um make sure you're checking on your spaghetti mine was ready then so i'm just going to drain it off and continue cooking the um, mixture so one that's nice and dry i'm just going to push uh the pep like the chilies to the side and make a well in the middle and then i'm going to stir fry the prawns okay if you're not using prawns you could just use whatever vegetables you're adding um i did want whatever i was using to still be quite fresh and hold their shape so i'm not going to cook them for too long um this is more of a dressing like a really warm hot dressing rather than uh stir fry or something i'd say so next i add in all the rest of the vegetables the corn the edamame and just give that a stir to warm it through and keep it going okay so medium high heat if you find yours is burning just turn down the heat okay so next i'm going to add in the noodles now these noodles were a bit um they have quite a strong texture i would say and so it was a bit hard to toss them i would say use um two utensils if you must but yeah just try to get all the dressing in there um i did this on medium heat and now that it's all mixed through i'm going to taste for seasoning it tastes so good i wish you could smell it guys i felt like mine needed just a drop more of sesame oil okay this is really up to you just taste and adjust to what you feel it needs and then i'm going to add just a little bit of soy sauce to loosen it up a bit um, um if you feel like you don't need this then you do not have to you could also use tamari as well um if that's something you're into okay so give it a stir next i'm gonna garnish with some spring onions of course and some sesame seeds because i love sesame seeds and then just give that a stir and it's done guys completely easy less than 20 minutes fresh delicious enjoy okay guys so i just got done filming the edamame and prawn black bean noodles and i'm so excited to try it i have it over here i'm gonna put some photos of course on instagram and here's the rest okay so these are the black bean noodles i hope you can see that okay itadakimasu let's see corn mm. mm. The texture is interesting. The flavor is amazing. You guys need to get in that. The recipe, I'll put it up. Don't worry, but it tastes amazing. The texture, it tastes a bit of a chew. I hope you guys can see me. Mmm. Mmm. The edamame is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Do you know what? I like it. I like it. It's like garlic, ginger, spring onions, chili. They have a really dominant flavor in a way. And so I think this really works with this noodle because you have to chew for quite a bit, I will say. Um, but the texture is great and it holds the sauce well. Whereas I think with the pasta sauce, it just wouldn't really, like a tomato sauce, it wouldn't marry well, in my opinion. But you can try it with that. It is up to you. But I'm really digging this. 
Okay, so overall, I am really pleased with this noodle. I would buy it again um, if I was making like a quick salad, something for lunch uh, to go the next day, or if I just wanted to eat something quick in under 20 minutes. I really do think maybe out of five, I would give it a four, definitely a four out of five. Um, it does get one less point because it does take a bit much to chew the texture is different but however i do love the flavor i love how it holds the dressing it really really does taste well um together and it goes really well so i hope you guys enjoy this kind of video i do have more reviews coming up with more recipes using what i got from prozies i will have the link in the description box i'll write it up here if you want to go search it and um just click on the link so i will have also how much this costs over here and also i will have the link to where you can buy this at prozies.com um you can use my discount code 10 percent discount code you guys enjoy this video i did um i'm really enjoying this noodles uh, i'm sorry i look a little tired or whatever but please subscribe please like please share and please try out this recipe if you do try the recipe Please send me a turnout. I love the photos. I have a folder just of amazing turnouts that you guys have given me. So I'm going to stop talking, going to go, going to leave the review and everything down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.